With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the question says, state Ohm's law and then how can it be verified experimentally? Explain with the help of a circuit diagram and express the result graphically. So, first of all, let us write what is Ohm's law. Ohm's law. So, Ohm's law states that the current flowing through a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied at its ends, keeping temperature constant. So, what do we get to know here? The, the current flowing is directly proportional to potential difference, which is V. Now, if we remove the proportionality sign, we have to write a constant which is R. So, this is how we get the formula V is equals to IR, where R is the proportionality constant which is also called resistance. And it is independent of V and I. Resistance is the property of a material. So, we have stated the Ohm's law. The next is how can it be verified experimentally? Explain with the help of diagram. So, let's go to the diagram. So, the circuit diagram is as follows. This is the battery. This is the ammeter. This is the resistance and this is the voltmeter. As we increase the V, because it is proportional to I, current also increases. But, R remains constant. So, by this method we can verify Ohm's law that V is proportional to I and the star point is keeping temperature constant. Now, graphically we can write it as this is V and this is the current I and This is the slope of Vi because V is directly proportional to I. We get a straight curve and the slope represents resistance. Slope represents resistance. So, by this method, we can verify Ohm's law and we get the graphical representation as follows. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.